Hey everyone, in this video, I want to show you how you can enable the staging option in Elementor for your website if you need to update some plugins, do some debug, or your website is under construction for a new website. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So once you're in your WP admin dashboard, what you want to do is head over to your plugins and make sure that you have Elementor and Elementor Pro installed and activated on your website. Now, next up, what you want to do is head over to Elementor then head over to tools. And over here, you want to go to maintenance mode and over here you want to choose the mode that suits for that purpose so for that matter it would be a different code depending on the situation so for example if your website is coming soon so meaning that your website is under construction and soon it will be ready and be ready for the world to see it will return an http 200 code or if it's under maintenance if something broke or you're fixing something on your website it would return a 503 code which is a server error so that will depend again on the situation that you are running into in here you want to choose the mode so coming soon or maintenance for our example it will be maintenance but again you can also enable the coming soon option but just make sure that you don't leave these options for too long because otherwise it will affect your website in one way or another and you don't want to do that let's head over and enable maintenance now you'll be able to see here that elementor tells us okay maintenance mode returns an http 503 code so search engines know to come back a short time later it is not recommended to use this mode for more than a couple of days as you can see here it is not recommended so we won't do that and make sure and bear in mind that you don't keep that for that long next up we have who can access this website now logged in users now that's great but in that example let's say i'm running a shop and i don't want all the clients that have a user on my website to access my website so for that matter i want to head over to this drop down and then enable the custom option and i want to enable to only administrators to come to my website and fix some things for that matter. So after that is done, you want to select a template. Yes, I would really recommend you to enable a specific template. For example, something like under maintenance or under construction or something of a sort. So head over and choose a template. If you don't have any, we have Elementor tells us you can create one right over here. So we'll create one together. So head over, click that, or you can go to your templates, open that in a new tab, and then head over to your new templates, add a new template, and then over here, you want to select page. Now, the reason that you want to choose page is that Elementor would recognize that this is a specific page and only that enable Elementor to use that as a default. So no matter what page someone would want to access on your website, you will get this page that we're going to be setting up right now. So let's name our page something like under construction and then hit create template. Now over here, what I would recommend you to do is head over to your left bottom hand corner of your screen, or if you're in the new editor, it will be on the top and head over to the settings over here and then head over to the page layout. And then I will recommend you to go to Elementor Canvas and over here will be greeted with a blank page. And here you'll be able to set up everything that you want to. I would recommend you to go to the Lottie website and over here, you would want to search for something like under construction or construction under construction as you can see here let's choose that and here we'll be greeted with some of the Lottie files that we have here now you can choose whatever you want to here let's do something like site or website under construction it really comes down to your own preferences so i'll choose this one so we'll be greeted with this pop-up where it shows us our animation or our Lottie file now I don't know if I want to keep that, so I'll click out of that. So let's do right over here and you can download it. What I would really recommend you to do, because let's say the person who uploaded it just wants, they wants to make it paid or wants to just remove it from the Lottie files. It's his own choice. So let's download it. Let's save it to space. And here it would ask us to log in or sign up. I have an account, so I will log in. Now, once you're logged in, you'll be redirected to this page in here. You want to save to workspace and to download. I already have it in my workspace. So I'll head over to my dashboard and over here, it will be popping up in a new screen. And over here, I'll be able to choose the exact Lottie file that I want to. So in that matter, it would be this one. I'll just click it and it will be redirected to this page. So in order to download this exact Lottie file, what you want to do is click on this button, download and export. And over here, you want to choose the Lottie JSON file and just hit download. And over here, just choose the tab that you want to. I'll save it over here and it will download the file. And then let's head over back to our website. And over here, let's head over to edit. And then over here, let's head over and search for the Lottie widget and then drag and drop it right over here. And then as we'll be able to see here, we have our Lottie file by Elementor. Now we'll be able to upload our file right over here, upload JSON file, and then just click this button and then just 
upload the file that we just downloaded. Once it is done, you'll be able to select it and then just hit select. And over here, we'll be able to see our Lottie file is active on our website. Now, this is a little bigger than what I've expected. So you'll go to style and then just play with the width. As you can see here, for example, let's do something like 50% and then max width 100. And then under that, you'll be able to add any widget that you want to, whether it's going to be a title, sorry for the inconvenience. And you want to align that to the middle. And here, let's head over to our container and then just align everything to the middle. And then over here, again, Again, to the center and here what i want to do is min width of let's change it from pixels to view height and over here let's change it to 100 and you'll be able to see here that we have site under construction sorry for the inconvenience simple and i think it's good now one thing that you will note here is that the lottie file doesn't continue to play and it just plays once and it doesn't continue anymore so what you want to do to fix that is open the sidebar head over to your lottie file and head over to content and under the content head over to settings and under the settings you want Want to enable the loop option right over here just enable it and it will loop every time that it's just finishes the animation and it just loops again as we know by loops all right that is done now obviously you would want to make that responsive so head over and do that in your own time now if you're not familiar with it you will head over to your bottom left hand corner of your screen right to the preview changes and the update button right over here you have the responsive mode just enable the responsive mode you'll be greeted with the top bar over here you'll be able to see here we have the desktop option we have the tablet portrait and the mobile portrait. Now, if you're in the new top bar by Elementor, it will be by default already on your website, but just wanted to let you know that it's really important to make it responsive. Head over, do that. And once you're done with it, just publish or update it. And then let's head over back to our settings in Elementor. And once you're here, just hit refresh. You can again, choose the mode and then here maintenance. And then who can access again, custom and administrators and choose template. And here we will be able to see our template. As you can see here under construction, that is the name that we named our template. And then you want to choose that and then save changes. And once that is done and is refreshed, you'll be able to see here we have our maintenance mode is on. That means it doesn't matter who accesses this website, you'll be greeted with the following. As you might be able to see here, this is the front page of my website. This is the website that we have here. And it doesn't matter where I go, it just shows that. And if you want to disable it, let's first of all, let's exit that. What you want to do is just head over to the Elementor tools and then head over to maintenance, just disable it and then save changes. And that would be disabled. And when you want to go to the front page of your website, you'll be greeted with the actual website. Now, this is an Elementor template that I've just implemented on my website, but I think you get the point. And yeah, that's pretty much how you enable and disable and edit the template for your maintenance mode on your website using Elementor and Elementor Pro. And if you like this video, I'll be really glad to if you leave a thumbs up make sure you subscribe so you won't miss any video that i post on elementor wordpress or woocommerce and as always i'll be seeing you in the next one